2016 has been a bizarre year right from the get-go. We're seeing a new feedback develop between the Arctic being so warm and its effect on the jet stream and vice versa. The very warm Arctic in the early fall is causing the jet stream to take a wavier path. This is something that we've been studying for a while. And those bigger swings in the jet stream are transporting more heat and moisture up into the Arctic. The heat is obvious, that melts more ice, but that moisture is a big part of the story. And we're seeing in 2016 an all-time record high amount of water vapor in the atmosphere in the Arctic. Now that water vapor is important because it's a greenhouse gas, so it contributes to the already um, warming effects of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, but it's also um, it causes more clouds to form, and those clouds are also very good at trapping the heat down by the surface. So we've got all this extra water vapor in the atmosphere that has been transported from the south by this wavy jet stream, but also because there's more evaporation in the open water areas where there used to be sea ice. So there's kind of a double whammy there in terms of that really important water vapor. So then the feedback part of the story is that because the Arctic has been staying so warm this fall, I mean, crazy warm, 20 degrees centigrade on some days warmer than average, that is feeding back then to the jet stream and causing it to continue to be very wavy, which continues to pump more heat and moisture up there. So we're seeing this new feedback mechanism kicking in that I think is playing a big role in this fall being so ridiculously warm.